Okay. Hi, I'm Rahul Patil, and I had a chance to play with the uh, f particle photon for a week now. So, uh, particle photon is basically a $19 development kit that you can find. That is a basic uh, Wi-Fi module, and it's based on an STM32 uh, Cortex M3 microcontroller, as you can see. And all the rest of the specs are given there. Uh, it's pretty uh, powerful because it uses the STM32 F2 series. So uh, the F1 series and the F0 series are the low power series, and F2 is a pretty beefed up processor. So it has a, uh, it is, uh, the clock rate is also pretty good. It's 120 megahertz. So it's it's made for uh, applications that are pretty powerful. So and as it is connected to the internet constantly, it requires all the power. Uh, it has an 1 MB flash, 128 KB RAM, so plenty of space to store your programs. And it's, it supports uh, Wi-Fi standard, the 802.11 B, G, and N series. And the best part about this is, one, it's expensive, it's just $19. And the second part is, it is open source. So Particle has created this entire board, and they have open sourced each and every part of it. So it has a pretty good documentation, as you can see. And here you have it crazy simple to interface with this thing. You can use your smartphone, and they have an app called Particle <coughs> on it. That's that looks like this. And when you connect your device to it, it basic, the device basically has all these pins, and the pinout is given there. And you can just touch and configure each pin as a active, as a digital high, low. You, ca you want to read from it, write from it. Uh, it also has a, a DAC. It has analog inputs, digital inputs, all classified neatly, and which you can access through the app itself. So that's pretty easy to get started for a hobbyist. And then. I don't believe it is. What was the question? Is the app open sourced? Okay. Um, I didn't find the source code for the app. So, uh, when you start your app, uh, this is the screen that you see. On this screen, uh, you find all the devices that are connected uh, that you can connect with your smartphone with your account. So it has pretty funny names like bamboo face and and then when you actually select the device it opens up the pinout diagram and when you can select which pin you want to configure so they have they have all these functions made like it is pretty compatible with arduino so you have this digital write analog write digital read analog read and you can just pass uh, the pin number and if you want it to be set high you just say high and if you want it to be set low, you say low, and that's it. So it's as, as simple as that. <coughs> so for example, if I want to pin, I want to have set this pin D7 as a digital read, I can just touch there and uh, just select digital read. So this is one part of how you want to, how you can interface and just, you know, LED uh, which is connected to D7 up and working. The other part is, it has an extremely easy to use web IDE called Build, where you have you can just log in into the Particle account, and then you have this web IDE. So this, I guess you have, yeah. So so this is the code that you can like simple Arduino code to uh, just set the pins as high and low and just give delays and. That code is flashed to the particle through the internet, and it just works. So you don't need to have a physical connection with your computer as at all. So yeah, and the neat part about using Build is uh, you have all these small icons here where you can just go and browse all the libraries that are pre-made for this device. So you can just browse other libraries and just select to include it in your project. So, and the underlying uh, p principle behind this is uh, Node.js. So it's JavaScript based. So all the code, it runs in the web and just flashes to the device remotely. 
So the thing that I, they have, they have a neat uh, channel with IF triple. So how many of you have heard about triple T? Have, has anybody used this? So IF triple T is basically uh, if if this then that basically. IF triple T uh, has uh, uh, recipes they call it as. So they have a trigger and they have a, uh, the trigger triggers the and the whole thing put together is called a recipe. So particle has created their own recipes. So that triggers an action. So and these are the ingredients to your recipe basically. So here what you can do is you can publish something and make that as a trigger. So if a function does something that can something on the web can be your action or vice versa. You can have, say, your Twitter account linked, and you can say, okay, if I tweet something, that will be the trigger, and the action will be, okay, just glow the onboard LED at, say, the D7. So here's how it looks like. So I have set my Twitter account to interface with it. Okay. So, so I guess you can see. So here, what you have is my, uh, the trigger. The trigger is the hashtag, and that hashtag I have defined it to be hashtag photon. And whenever that trigger is called, that happens. Uh, we can just say that okay, call a function, and I can select which function you want from these these primary ones that they have built in. So this is, now my device here is called Mighty Ferret. So it does a digital write on Mighty Ferret. Okay, that's what I'm selecting. And f to that function, these are the inputs. D7 being the onboard LED, and I want to set it high whenever that happens. So that's my recipe. So I'll just go ahead and save my recipe. Okay. So if a new tweet by my Twitter account with that hashtag, then call a function, and that function does the rest. So let's check that. So right now, with this, uh, the D7 is right here, and the LED is off. And when it is connected to the internet, it have, has this uh, breathing pattern on the LED. So right now, it's connected, I believe. But let's just check. Via Wi Fi that is connected? Yeah, it's connected to a common network. And for now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've connected it to a common hotspot that I've given using this cell phone here. So both the devices, my phone, phone is connected to the internet using my connection. And I can just go on Twitter and I need to tweet. So I'll just use the app. You put both on the same time. Uh, thank you. Down. Okay. So they could see you. Uh, not my tweet. Okay. So I just say hashtag photon and something. Say class demo and just tweet that. So. Now, IF Triple T routes it through their own framework, so it's slow, to say the least. Sometimes it's not as reliable as you writing your own JavaScript code and uh, interfacing your Twitter a API with it and making it work. That will make it work instantly. So what we are waiting for is the D7 to be high. So, oh, Ding. so it happened. Ooh, uh. He blinked an LED. Ooh, uh. So it takes so little to please me. I, I tell you. <laughs> so it's it's pretty fun. This this is just a out of the box uh, kind of a demo, but uh, I have found some uh, resources that enable you to actually write your own JavaScript and to Twitter API, and you can have other a triggers and other APIs interacting with it as well. So using JavaScript makes it work instantly and uh, it's it's really easy to get started with it 
so that's how you interface something from the internet to this and this is this device is built for the internet there's one more thing that uh, should just the last thing here is they have this section on designing your own PCB so they have this other version of the board that is meant to be mounted on an existing PCB you can just solder that instead of the one that one like this which has the all the headers and they also have something called uh, P5 is that the module uh, it has the controller and the Wi-Fi chip, but it doesn't have the power circuitry on. So if you just need that and if you have the entire circuit, you can include that. And they have something called P1, which is a bit more ex powerful. And yeah, so this is the section that's really interesting. They have all the PCB design resources made already. They have an Eagle library that you can just use. Uh, they also support the, uh, all the other PCB making softwares, especially Fritz being uh, the open source one, and, or KiCad. And all these things make using on very easy and you can just include it with any kind of project that you can. You just want to make it from scratch or are just uh, you can just prototype on. So that was my demo for Photon. Thank you.